you know, one of the few good things about this storm we all going through down in the south, and my main hope to find something in, interesting to watch, I went through my subscriptions, and I came across a series from the BBC called The Day the Universe Changed. There's also another another incarnation called Connections. In this day and age, we find ourselves almost sleepwalking through media. Because if you don't make a conscious effort to go outside of your normal view, viewing, see, if you like, uh, like, for example, One American News, you will always be watching some crazy ass shit. Conspiracy nutters. Because the algorithms you ha find will always steer you, your feed to crazy ass shit. If you don't make a conscientious effort to go outside your box and to view different things, that's what you'll be stuck with. That's that's your that's your view on the world that you get through media. Same thing with uh, liberals. Same thing with religion. Same thing with everything. What I love about the this the series is it is expansive. It is it covers so fucking much. I love it. It shows how the smallest acts in the past, but seemingly unconnected <clears throat> throughout history, smallest acts had led to world changing events. A world changing event is not, is not just one thing. It's not just one day something incredible happens, out of the blue, boom. No, it's a million things that led to that one act, that one event. It's the contributions of millions of people throughout time that led to in a moment of enlightenment of one person on the other side of the world, 10, 10 or 100 years later, they come across this and their mind is enlightened and they change the world. They didn't do it by themselves. That moment of enlightenment came with many contributions throughout time. This show chronicles these, these contributions. It's, inc it's, it's one of the best finds I've ever had throughout my life. This show has a deep meaning to me because I have, let's just say, I'm a little bit more in touch with my rage than the atypical person. And when you're a rageaholic, you have that moment of clarity, oh shit, I did what? Which leads to depression, which leads to more rage. And if you don't, if I didn't have something like this as an example, that if I try as hard as I possibly can to make a contribution, to make one person's day a little bit better, which makes their life a little, for that moment a little bit better, which makes another person who comes into that person. We're dealing with a vi COVID virus now. This, what, my example of what I'm talking about is a thought virus. It's a beautiful thing. It is something that we all take part in when we try to be the best examples of ourselves. Somewhere down the line, something I did, which I will never get any credit for, will 
change someone's life, which will change somebody else's life. And that makes me get out of bed. That makes me, that realization that I'm so grateful for helps me get through life. My life has meaning. We all have some meaning. If we fuck off and be a complete drain in the world, but for one moment, we did something kind. A moment of kindness. A contribution. Anything we can that helps our life is not worthless. We matter all of us and we have to for this world to be better we have to be cogn cognitive of that fact and strive for it well links down below I hope you like it and share it please share the link <laughs> just get the link off off the video, this video, and then just share it to as many places as you possibly can. Spread the good. Till next time.